Today I woke up and thought to myself, what a great day to melt some copper. I don't have any copper, so I went to my dad's workshop to see if I could snitch some scraps. He handed me over this bucket full of various plumbing fittings and wires he salvaged over his lifetime. It took about 2 hours from a cold start to melt 4.5 kilo or 10 pound of copper. Therefore I am planning to build a more powerful burner. To cool the copper I dump it in this bucket full of water, specifically used bathing water which I am planning to sell for 30 bucks a bottle. Uh, if you are interested leave a comment. If the principle of thermal expansion didn't change over the last 10 years, the copper bar should come loose. But as you can see, the copper doesn't care about thermal expansion or phase transition. Since propane is stored liquid and it gasifies as you release it, it cools down the tank. The bottom line is, the longer you burn the propane, the less power you have. I am pouring some hot water over the tank to get some pressure back, which is in hindsight probably not a smart idea because the tank is exposed to a huge amount of thermal stress. The future burner will have a preheated air intake and it will run on propane and or diesel. Since this chunk will get remelted to bronze again, I don't really bother to get a perfect shiny surface finish. <laughs> Which sounds like a lazy excuse, 